All right, so we have Jason Thomas with Paint Pals out of South Carolina, and he joined with us. How long have you has it been since you started? My first one was in December, and I finished up in January. Okay, so it's been about six months, and uh, he started from absolute scratch, so never touched a paintbrush, uh, never worked for a painting company, didn't have a company before, and just said, hey, and I know, you know, this is a industry that has a lot of upside. I want a part of it. I know there's money in it. What do we, what do we got to do? Let's get started. So that was kind of his entry into it, kind of just went all in. And then um, walk me through kind of why you decided to reach out to me among all coaches out there. Saw your videos online. And once I started clicking, I just kept seeing them and sh there you were showing proof of results coming your way. So I decided to set up a meeting and I knew I was set instantly. Yeah. Have you seen like other coaches or was I like one of many choices or was nope. I the first one? No, nope. I, I just, I, I saw results and a lot of people would say, come with me, but they could never show proof of what they were doing of proof of um, them turning businesses around and, and, and making it better. Yeah. And, and you you've, you've been in here for, for six months now. So you've kind of seen us evolve a little bit. Things get updated. People come in. Yep differences get made within businesses you know what what has that looked like since you started until now of like how you know the coaching looks and from the inside out I think there's been three revamps to like the the pdf and I every time it gets better and better and you it's I love it I love it I mean we're moving along and the group chat is probably one of my favorites I mean everybody there's no stupid questions everybody asks and everybody answers and they give their best advice they can to help you out. Yeah. It's like I a think, community. Yeah. And that's like one of the things that I probably love the most is like everybody comes from that. Like, we're just trying to help each other out because literally everybody in the coaching has been there. You know, they've been in a spot, maybe they were doing okay, better than others, but like, they're still trying to get to the next point. So when it comes to have, you know, seeking help or getting assistance in any way, aside from just kind of me meeting with them, maybe they're on the job and they just have a quick question. They can always either reach out to me or the chat and they're going to get like six different, you know, uh, answers from six, six different perspectives of businesses that do, you know, vastly different things. So that that's, I love that. And I, I, you know, I hope to continue to get more positive people because like when you go on a Facebook group, it's like, you, you never know what kind of <laughs> responses yeah. you're going to hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. So, and then, you know, you, you talked about proof, right? So like you've seen people in the coaching also kind of level up their business also. Talk about that. Talk about like what you've actually seen firsthand. I mean, I've seen people who had hard, was hardly making any money. And now they're talking about signing 50, 60, $70,000 jobs. I mean, I started off with zero dollars in the first three months. I made eight thousand bucks, I think, and then all after that, once I really started doing everything, I I think in the last three months, two and a half months, I'm up to like seventy thousand dollars. Wow, just in sales. That's awesome. And what was the biggest kind of contributor to that success? Um, just actually following your guide, not just taking here and there, and just um, just doing a little bit here and doing my own thing here. I took everything that you've done or you've proved that you show that works and have just went with only your what. Yeah. Now um, you're, you're out of state. You kind of have an interesting, you know, situation, right? It's like, yep. obviously I have my own thing out of state, so I'm familiar with it. So I'm able to give you some decent advice. Um, but you, you literally said, Hey, I'm going to be hands off 100%. I think you had some like leg surgery you were dealing with. So you literally couldn't get out there. Yeah. And it might even be to your benefit because you were able to delegate that much more and, and see what that looks like and see what's capable when you actually like commit to it, you know? Um, that's, that's interesting. So could you tell anybody looking that may be interested in like not kind of being hands-on in the business and what that looks like, what kind of things are in the way of doing it, you know, pros and cons? Yeah. So I found a subcontractor that I really really trusted i liked he was he's awesome he wanted to do the um estimates just so he can get eyes on the job before he even shows up that first day um so we went through how we do the estimates we talked about how to price out a job and everything how i wanted it to be priced out and he prices it out for me he goes in and sells every i think almost every person who's ever spoke to him has always mentioned about how great of a person he's been That's so awesome. 
I have, yeah, I have his trust. He has my trust and we just work great together. Me doing this, I don't have to be at on site. I don't have to ever, I can focus more on the business portion and the computerized computer part. And he can focus on managing the crews and doing estimates. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. And like, I, I talk to people a lot. If you're going to go the su subcontractor route, it's more than just like, Hey, here's the job, do the work, you know, here's your cut. It's like you literally have to get on a really good relationship with that person because they're going to be helping you out when you get in sticky situations. I mean, I'm sure you've seen already jobs go sour and they have to kind of save the day and step up and, you know, that's going yeah, to happen. I've had a couple bad issues with previous situations and yeah. he came in and saved both jobs. And uh, yeah, I've, you can quickly go south real quick if you have a bad subcontractor. No, nah, it's 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 a lot. And and you've called me too, right? Like when you're in these situations, you say, Hayden, how would you deal with this? You know, um, I'm in X, Y, Z situation. He's saying this, she's saying that. What do you think is the best route? You know, and having that resource, I think, is like a game changer, right? Yep. I've, I've reached out to you. You called me instantly right away and we talked about it. And then you'd follow up with me. How did it go? I would even reach out to the group and they would give me their input on situations that they've had in the past. And yeah. Yeah. And you're looking at uh launching. We were just talking before um, launching in where, where was it at again? Uh, Ohio, Northwest Ohio. Ohio. Yep. So you're looking at having potentially two locations. That's huge. Yep. That's a future plan down the road, hopefully. Yeah. And that's just from like the confidence of seeing it, you know, like the business uh, from the delegation standpoint of like, I actually don't have to physically be there and run it. Right. So that right. gives you more bandwidth to say, Hey, I can, I can pretty much set up shop anywhere. If I, if yep. I set it up the right way, yep. if you do it the right way and you follow the program, then yep, you can yeah. step back and do all the business and you can even hire out and you can completely step away. But That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And talk, talk about like uh, some of the main takeaways you got from the coaching. Like, obviously we have the videos, PDF, we have me coaching you, the Wednesday calls. What do you feel like is the biggest thing that helps you out? <laughs> I love the Wednesday calls because you it's, I mean, there's so much information, but I think one of my biggest ones was the videos with you and the advertisement teaching with Daniel teaching about how to set up an advertise gotcha. um, on your own. That was, that's huge. I still watch it quite a bit to this day. <laughs> Cause it saves you a chunk of money, you know, it does. It does. If you can run ads on your own, you know, and a lot of, a lot of the things I do, I, I, you know, I know that people aren't coming into my program with, you know, tons of money to spend. I get that. So it's like, how can we set things up in a way that's a little bit more budget, but it's going to get you the best results had you done it a different way, or, if, you know, maybe you wanted to spend money on it because you were unsure how to do it on a budget scale. So like, I kind of give you that option. Like, Hey, here's how I would do it. If I didn't have much money and get the best results versus yeah. like, if you want to do it the right way and really just get into results, you can go this way, but it's going to cost you a little bit more. And we also have the resources of like, Daniel, Lucas, you know, other people that come in, help us out, give us value. And um, they even give us better pricing, which is cool, you know, if you're in the coaching. So, um, yep. yeah, so pretty dope. Um, but yeah, I would say what is, uh, what would you say to anybody looking to potentially join or any contractors out there that are looking to, you know, level up their painting business? I mean, I'm 100% to join. I mean, I, I talked to uh, one of the other one of the other guys that joined before he actually joined and he, he was honest. He, he just asked me, he goes, should I join? I said, 100% sign up, go with him, do exactly what he said, what Aiden says and you're set. Yeah. And do you feel like um, there's a niche that I kind of cover like smaller companies, bigger companies, commercial residential, or do you feel like anybody could get value from what we're doing? Oh, 100%. Anybody can get value from, from what you have. I mean, and I mean, just the community alone, just the family that we have, as far as the group chats, they, I mean, if, if it's like I said earlier, if it's something somebody doesn't know, somebody else is going to know. Yeah. Now it's cool. And it's all diverse. Like we were on the one call and then somebody was like, I don't know if I should work for, you know, general contractors. I had a bad experience. And then somebody else was like, my whole business is built off of general contractors. So it was, <laughs> it's just funny to see yeah. everybody's perspective, how they built their, you know, respective business. Cause I tell everybody, 
yeah, there's a formula nowadays, right? People are doing things the same way and getting good results, but it's like, you could run with a painting business in 10 different ways. You know, like I did a little mini series for uh, Tanner's uh, school community and I just laid out like, Hey, here are all the routes you could take with your painting business. What appeals to you? What do you have experience in? Like, what do you feel confident? Hey, I can get into this and do interiors next year's only commercial, you know, light commercial repaints, um, line striping, you name it, dude, there's so much out there. Um, and the relationships that you can get with the realtors, property managers, local, you know, people. So it's cool. There's a lot of potential. And, uh, I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. So <laughs> any no. last thoughts? No, I mean, I was going to say earlier, like every, or all of our Wednesday calls, I think you've had some of the biggest in the business on there and has talked to us and we're not a huge group. Everybody knows everybody pretty much. And like I said, you've brought some of the biggest in the industry in and talked to us on a Wednesday night. Yeah. They're noticing, they're seeing it happen in real time. But all right, so we got yep. Jason Tom's with Paint Pals. We appreciate your time, brother, and uh, I'll end Thank it there. Thank you.